Have you ever looked at a banana? You probably have. If you have, you'll notice that they're not square, like not square at all. In fact, they're the opposite of square, they're round. Well, that's not true because the opposite of square definitely doesn't even exist because it would have to be some kind of anti-square and it depends how you define opposite, but nobody would have picked me up on that if I didn't mention it because people say things are opposites that aren't opposites all the time. Anyway, so bananas, they're round and long and kind of like some abnormal cone shape at each end and a bit like a double-ended dick, I suppose. Anyway, the point is that normal bread's square, so if you want to make Nutella and banana on toast, you have to do something like this, which is a fucking train wreck, an absolute fucking travesty ruining such a beautiful snack like this, because by the time you've tessellated all your banana, the Nutella isn't warm anymore because the toast has cooled down, and then you're not going to enjoy it as much as if it was warm. It's like looking at the Mona Lisa but wearing sunglasses or... I don't know, fucking Mila Kunis wearing an oven glove on your dick. You know, you'd still enjoy it, but it could have been better. So you need to get a roll that's roughly the size and shape of Ulysses BBC. Then, before you do anything, just appreciate the shit that's about to go down, because this is genuinely art, and I know people call things art that aren't art all the time, but I genuinely think that this is, you know, art can be seen in the form of paintings and sculptures and heard as music, so why can't it be tasted? Why, why do beautiful tastes not qualify as art? They, they should. You know, if anything, we appreciate tastes more than sights or sounds in day-to-day -day life, probably because we experience them less. We walk around seeing and hearing things all the time, so when we see or hear something special, we enjoy it, but it never gives us the same satisfaction as tasting something. People don't, like, see something and, and feel compelled to actually make a noise expressing their joy. Imagine people walking around art galleries going, mmm, that looks so good, I just want to look at it until I can't look at it anymore, because that's what we do with tastes. Anyway, it's fucking art, and Delbros are going to win the Turner Prize with this shit, so we were making this last night and got carried away, and it got weird, but look. We had a BBC bread fight. I'm the dark elbow. I'm the light. Let's tell it. So we were thinking of how to cut our bananas because the rolls are big enough for like one and a half bananas each and we decided that you can cut a banana one of three ways, with brute force, with your mind simply by willing it in half, or with brute force. You got to weigh your Nutella so you can record how many gains you'll be making. Sometimes Nutella sticks to the spoon because it's scared of being eaten and you haven't seduced it enough. If you put more effort into listening to the Nutella instead of talking about yourself all the fucking time, then maybe it'd be more compliant. Anyway, you can just push it onto the roll with your finger, but then you're technically a Nutella rapist because you made it go when it didn't want to. Looks like a vagina. Kind of. One that's been beaten up, though. By you and Suze. So now the banana fulfills its ultimate destiny, it will be eaten and contribute towards gains in the form of cell production and so essentially it becomes one with a Delbro. Many a banana would envy the fate of this one, it has died an honourable death, like all the samurai in that film, um, the last samurai. Mmm, this shit is so good, tastes like the heavens. Meanwhile, we are fucking disgusting. Look at this, I am disgusted at myself, quite a horrible creature. Mike, you are pretty bad too.
The last bite is so sad, there's so many feels in that last bite, simply because it's the last, it's almost like you can't enjoy it because you know it's the end of something special and life will never be the same again. Well, unless you make another obviously. BRB, making another.